This isn't about relitigating the 2016 U.S. presidential election. This isn't about who won or who lost. This is about national security. This is about corporate responsibility. And this is about the deliberative and multifaceted manipulation of the American people by agents of a hostile foreign power. We have no idea how many times it was liked or shared with other individuals. What's even more galling is that to tear us apart, they're using social media platforms Americans invented in connection with the First Amendment freedoms that define an open and democratic society. Those trolls, the crap, disinformation. Most of the real life followers have no idea that they were caught up in these webs. These networks are later utilized to push an array of disinformation, including stolen emails, state-led propaganda like RT News and Sputnik, fake news, and decisive con divisive content. The goal is pretty simple, is to get this so-called news into the news feeds of many potentially receptive Americans and to convert covertly and subtly push those Americans in the directions the Kremlin wants to go. It pains us as a company, it pains me personally to see that we were, that our platform was abused in this way. People in this country care deeply and what about issues of public concern and it's one of the strengths of our country that people are so willing to speak freely about them. The fact that foreign actor, actors were able to use our platform to exploit that openness uh, is, a, is a deeply painful lesson for us and one we're focused on learning from going forward.